Grade 7 math practice test for T and ready. Question number 6 on a non-calculator section. There are 21 campers at a three-week-long summer camp. During the camp, the counselors recorded the number of campers that can complete five different obstacles on the first and final week of camp. The dot plots show the data. As you can see, um, more people in the first, in the beginning of the camp could get that first obstacle down, but it kind of peters off. Of course, you have a couple who could do all five, but it starts to, you know, they made some progress. That's good. Which statement about the data is true? M, the number of campers who completed at least three obstacles increased by exactly 50% between the first week and final week. P, the median number of obstacles completed stays the same between the first week and the final week. R, the mean number of obstacles completed increased between the first week and the final week. And S, the range of obstacles completed increased by two between the first week and the final week. So there are a few things that we could go about looking here. One of them is blatantly obvious that it's true. The mean number of obstacles completed increased between the first week and the final week. Well, all you're really saying is that on average, more people completed obstacles before than they did after. And look at the numbers spread down here very low right so out of 21 campers you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 of them who didn't complete who completed two or less whereas here to find that same 15 6 7 8 9, 10, 10, you get this spread so if you have this many big numbers and you're still dividing by five, you're going to get a much bigger number anyway. So the answer is going to be R. You could absolutely test it. All you'd have to do is um, for each one of these add one and then add two, but that's not really what they want you to do. They want you to just look at the spread and be able to tell without having to go into deep thought about it. Now in terms of the number of campers, the campers who completed at least three obstacles. So in this case, one, two, three, four, Oh, we did 15, right? 16, 17, 18. So 18. And in this one, oh, sorry, I was doing less than three. Oops. Completed at least three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm comparing six to fourteen. It increased by exactly fifty percent. Well, a fifty percent increase from six, half of six is three. And 6 plus 3 is 9, so this is not 9, it's 14, so that's out. The median number. So since there's 21, I just find, you know, kind of what's in the middle of 21. 1, 2. So there's my midpoint, because I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 after it, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 before it. There's the 11th point there. The median number of obstacles stayed the same. No, that was not true. They're not in the same spot. This one's at 2 and this one's at 4. That is not true. Uh, the last one we've already talked about, how the mean shifted a lot. We don't have to figure out the exact number. It doesn't matter. That's not what they're asking. The range of obstacles completed increased by 2. The range did not change. The range is the smallest to the greatest. And people did finish the five obstacles in the first week and then some people didn't numbers over here are different it's still conceptually the same thing that five obstacles was the max and zero was the minimum and people met both those criteria so the range didn't change at all so in this case the mean number of obstacles increased between the first week and the final week you also notice that it was the least specific this one said it stays the same so that indicates a number this one says it increased by exactly 50%. Hmm. And then this one says they increased by two. It's easier to prove some really generic thing like it got more. <laughs> I mean, that's really what it is. It increased. The number was bigger. That's all you had to prove. And if you have a lot more higher numbers for a mean, it's definitely going to increase your mean value.